Shift A and add in a circle. Change it from nothing to end gone. Go ahead and bring it down and in edit mode, scale it down so that it fits within right here. Then go to Object, Quick Effects, and Quick Smoke. Make sure to be in Solid View. This is the space where the fire or smoke is going to be. Let's just go ahead and hit GZ and bring it down to about here. Then select the circle, go to the Physics tab, and right here we could change it from Smoke to Fire and Smoke or Fire. I'm going to choose fire. You can see that once again, the fire is rising. So I'm going to enable initial velocity. And right here on the Z, I'm going to put negative 10. So now you can see it shoots down on the Z axis. You could think of the fuel as adding fuel to the fire. The higher the number, the more fire there will be. For example, if I put this to three, you can see we get this. I'm just going to go ahead and put it to like 0.6. Go to rendered viewport shading and change it to cycles. So select the domain and in the material properties under volume, put the black body intensity to 20 or so. Select everything here. Shift select the rocket last. Control P and parent to object. Then add in a Bezier curve. In edit mode, delete the vertices. Get the draw option and just draw a curve wherever you want the rocket to fly. Select the rocket ship. Shift select the curve. Control P and select follow path. On the curve, in the curve properties under path animation, you could change the frames right here. This is how many frames it's gonna take to complete the whole path. Adjust the lighting as you want. I just added a sky texture with the ozone set all the way up. And now you got a flying rocket ship.